Hey guys, welcome welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamala Janessa. If you're returning, thank you as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. As you can see by the title, long-awaited video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a satin bonnet. So, we're going to make a lotus bonnet today, which is white and lilac. So, it's going to be reversible. So, let's get into it. So, the first thing that I usually do when I start making a bonnet is get my fabric together so I can cut them into a circle. So I don't have any fabric that I didn't cut, so it was like, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but I'm gonna still demonstrate it so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So I have a template that is 13 inches. All my adult size bonnets are 13 inches. You can do 11, you can do 12, 14, so the bigger the inches, the bigger space the bonnet is gonna have in the back. But I like 13 because it's a standard size. It's not too big, not too small, it's perfect. How I get this template is I use cardboard paper, and then I put the cardboard paper on my cutting mat and then I mark 13 on the top and 13 on the bottom and I draw a line from 13 to 13 so that I make it a perfect circle and once I make the template what I do is pin it together on the fabric I use my clips and I just pin it all around and then I use my rotary cutter and then just cut it right around it and it makes the perfect circle and this is how it looks when it's open after my fabric is cut so I cut both of them the white one into a circle and the lilac into a circle why does someone open now it's time to pin them together so when you're pinning your fabric together there's a shiny side and there's a flat side so what you do is the shiny side for the bottom has to face up and then the shiny side for the top faces on top of the shiny side on the bottom so to make it more clear the two shiny sides should be touching together and they should be basically inside out it should be flat on the outside, flat on the outside, and inside should be shiny. So then I get my pins, and then I start to pin around. All the materials that I'm listing in the video is on my Amazon storefront, so you guys can also check that out. And then I have a video on my channel basically explaining the materials that I use to make my satin bonnet. So these are the pins that I'm using, just regular sewing pins. So then I pin it all around and leave maybe an inch or two opening so that once I sew the bonnet around, I'm able to turn it inside out. But once we get more into the tutorial, you guys will see what I'm talking about. Now I'm done pinning everything. So as you can see, everything is pinned around. And then I left a space here. This is basically like two inches because once I sew it around, I'm gonna flip it inside out so that the shiny side is outside now. Now that it's ready, we're gonna throw it in the machine. So what I do is the space that I leave from the beginning, that two inch space, I will start the sewing from there. I'll start it here and end it here. And then I'll still leave the gap space so I can turn the bonnet on the right side. once it's finished and remember that space I said leave this is how it should look once it's finished sewing hope you guys can see that hold it like this push it through and push it all the way through it's like you're basically just flipping it and once it's flipped around you see the shiny side here so it should look like this 
correct and then that hole should still be here because this is the hole that we're gonna use to push the band in so you see how it looks wrinkled and everything I hate when my bonnets look like this you can leave it like this and then sew it around and put the band in but I don't do that I like my bonnets to be flat and sleek like so it's very tedious but I do it so I have my mini iron here we're about to start ironing I'm gonna show you guys how I make my bonnets flat <laughs> so the secret to getting my bonnet super flat is when I'm ironing I don't just go around and just iron like that I pull this I pull it like this so it should look like this and I press this out so all the seams pressed out straight and that's my secret to how my bonnets be so flat because you see this ain't cutting it see how this is sticking up right here what I usually do is like fold it down on both sides and then flatten this out on the iron and once I finish that side then I go here and just go around do the same thing like I said it is tedious but the end result is amazing and I don't just iron the seams I iron the whole bonnet <laughs> You see that? Perfect. Now that this is finished ironing, we're gonna put it through the machine again. So what I'm gonna do is sew one inch away from here because my band that I use is a one inch band. So you want it to fit just perfect. So it fits right through it. I'm gonna sew along here, all around. So my trick to making the line exactly one inches, I cut piece of the band. Hope you guys can see. I cut piece of the band and I add a clip so that I'm able to clip it onto the bonnet. So, so I can sew like a uh, exact line so that the band fits perfect in the bonnet. So I have the clip and I clip it directly on here. So it's like that and then clip it like that. So once it's clipped, it should look something like this. And then I just feed it through the machine. And I don't really do it exactly at one inch. I leave a, just a little space. Because I don't want it to be too tight when I'm pushing it through. This is optional, but I use my brand name and clip it on. So that my bonnets are basically tagged with my business name. to close it up so that the stitching doesn't look weird I overlap it on the first stitch that I started so this is how it should look once you finish sewing it around so you can see my business name tagged and then you can see where I started and finished and this is where I'm gonna put the band in that same opening from the beginning this is basically what comes in handy at the end to put the band in I'm about to cut my band so I usually cut my band like 21 to 22 inches because that's like the average head size but if somebody basically you don't know, ask and be like oh my head is smaller or my head is a little bigger then I will accommodate that and basically make the bonnet bigger or smaller but I usually do 21 to 22 and very little complaints about it being tight or it being big so to put the band through the bonnet I use a bodkin this is what a bodkin is. It basically, you just clip clip it on and then you push it through. And I feel like it pushes through way faster. If you don't have a bodkin, it's like $6, but if you don't have a bodkin, you can always use a safety pin. This is what I started with. It does take a little more time. The bodkin is like maybe three, four pushes. This takes a lot of time sometimes. It unclips, a whole bunch of stuff happens. So when I discovered this, I was super, super happy. But like I said, the safety pin works just fine as well. Especially if you're just starting out or if you're just making a bonnet just to make one. But yeah, so I clamp it on. So I'm going to use it and push it through. And basically just maneuver it through.
and then once I push it through I just make sure that everything is straight because I did have instances in the past like when I first started that the band would be crooked inside and it's like I wouldn't realize until the bonnet is finished sewing so I always just you know double check so what we're gonna do now is just sew a straight line straight down here just to make sure that the band stays in place so I probably sew it like three four times because I want it to be super super secure I don't want nobody telling me oh basically the band popped off on their head like no so just push it through the machine so as you can see I sewed it mad times I be going crazy <laughs> and then once it's finished so I just you know And then the hole that I pushed it through, you basically need to fold it down. So this is the hole, you fold it down, and then you're gonna sew along this line so that the bonnet is closed. So let me show you from this angle. So this is the gap from the beginning. So basically you're gonna fold it down and then sew across here. Make sure you don't sew the band itself because when you're trying to move the bonnet, it won't move. Make sure you sew just the fabric itself. So this is how your stitch should look. So there you have it. The perfect bonnet. And it's reversible too. White and lilac. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys learned how to make a satin bonnet. The Mel Sleeper way. Whether you want to start a business or you just want to practice and make your own bonnet. You know for the fun of it. A lot of people just like DIY craft. Whatever it is or you just watching because you support me. Thank you as always. <laughs> and leave video suggestions down below. Because somebody don't be knowing what to film. Like I want to get in front of the camera. And I don't be knowing what to film. So it was like. I don't know. Help me. <laughs> don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.